What is up guys? We are out here with what I thought was a beautiful day. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's, it's absolutely a beautiful day. I, I love it. But um, I thought it was a little bit warmer than what it was. Like I stepped outside and I was like, oh yeah, it's toasty. So, you know, short sleeve, mess jacket, you know, wham, bam, thank you, wham. Um, yeah, it's like 64 degrees right now. So it, I'm a pansy in the cold, you know, so it's, it's like a cool 64 degrees, you know, so it, it's pretty cold right now. But uh, yeah, kind of wish I wore my other jacket or at least put on a long sleeve shirt underneath. Yeah, you know, something. I'm, I'm probably going to regret it because right now I'm on my way to my dad's house because my dad has more tools than I have. And I'm going to help my best friend work on his car because it broke. So we got to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm a good friend. You know, I, I like to help my friends, especially when they ask me for help. You know what I'm saying? Like... You never know when you're gonna need your friend's help too. So, you know, if they actually, you know, trust you enough to actually want your help with something that requires the mobility of their vehicle, then, you know, you should probably help them because you might need theirs in the future on something else, you know, you never know. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't take me all day to fix this vehicle because um, yeah, the sun goes down really fast now. And like I just said, I'm wearing short sleeves and a mesh jacket and it's already kind of nipply. And so if the sun goes down, means it'll drop back down to freaking forties or some BS like that. And then, oh man, I ain't gonna make it. Which, I mean, luckily I'll be at my dad's house, so maybe I'll just steal some of my dad's clothes and put them on or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out because I ain't trying to get the pneumonia. The pneumonia. I'm just kidding. It's pneumonia. I'm not stupid. Uh-oh. Coming up on a Mustang. Now listen, as long as this thing just doesn't floor it right off the line. Oh no, it's new at that. He just bought it, which means he's not used to all that torque yet. So if he floors it off the freaking line, we might get hit. Oh, yep. He's sleeping, so I didn't get hit. Sweet. Hey, buddy. F you guy. Hey buddy! Nobody's freaking waving at me! Wave at me, dang it! Oh my god! Oh lady! Oh, oh my lanta! I didn't think UPS lady was gonna stop. I ain't gonna lie, I don't think she did either because like she saw me and her jaw dropped. I think even she thought she was about to pull straight out. No, we're running this side. Oh no, there's a big hill right there. Whee! That was fun. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I think that UPS driver lady was, yeah. I think she was like, no, my brakes are squishy. I'm gonna hit them. And then she stopped. Or maybe I'm exaggerating, but I, I don't I don't know. I swear her mouth was open. Like, she, she looked like she was panicking. Oh, man, check him out on the scooters. Hey, buddy. He pointed out his way. He's happy. They're just happy old guys. Yay. Oh, it feels so good to be out. I feel like I haven't rode in forever. Like, oh, it just, oh, I love two wheels so much. So much fun. So much fun. If you look to your right ear, you'll see a police officer minding his own business, looking the wrong way in the parking lot. Oh, what's really funny, I can tell that, like, I'm getting older because, I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. I want an exhaust for this thing, right? Okay, like, I, I wanted to go, okay, that was, that was, that was inappropriate. Just mind as you do that. Anyway, I do want this thing louder. I like obnoxious things. You know what I'm saying? But like, normally, before, if I bought a motorcycle, first thing I would have done to that thing, I gotta put an exhaust on it. I want that some beach to be loud. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That was that was just who I was as a person, and I still am. I like loud things. You know. But it's really weird because like with this one, I was like, well, obviously, I gotta make it look pretty before I put an exhaust on it. And like, you know, it's winter time, so obviously I'm not gonna like buy an exhaust for it right now. I mean, it's not winter time yet. Gosh, Justin, why are you running, rushing winter time? I, I don't know, but I know it's fall. Either way, winter time is coming up. Okay, Christmas is like right around the freaking corner. I know, not before Thanksgiving. We can't forget about Thanksgiving. You know why? Because it's like two days before my freaking birthday. So I get to pick out two days before my birthday. Happy freaking birthday to me. And then, uh, it's my birthday. Oh man, it's my birthday. That means I'm closing in on 30. I'll be 27 this year. Holy freaking crap, Justin. You are getting old. Not really. I'm still young. But you know, you get my drift. What, what was I even talking about? I just, I hate when that happens. I'm like talking, you know, and then, and then all of a sudden my brain's like, oh, here's something else to talk about. I really don't know what I was talking about. Holy cow. Oh yeah. Modifications. Okay. Yeah. So I actually want like functional mods for this thing. Like, I really 
want rated brake lines. Like I would like to have better brakes for this thing and I would like to have better rear sets. I feel like I can raise up a little bit because with this one, if I'm riding like dumbly aggressive, I just, I just where I got tiny legs, I just feel like they're in the wrong spot. And I feel like I need rear sets that's a smidge higher and that would just make everything riding this bike even that much better. You know, you know, you catch me. I mean, the bike's fun as it is, but you, you can always make them better, you know. Hey, buddy! Hey, everybody! Okay, don't wave. Oh, okay, that must have been his wife. I think she was scared to take her hands off the handlebars. It's okay. It's okay. So, fun fact. If you pick on the hashtag Jixer Nation online, they all band in to pick a fight with you. Even though you're just playing, right? Because, you know, I, I like to play with them all the time. It's funny. But they get butt hurt. And all that they have to say is, let's line them up. Let's race. My bike is faster than yours. Like, okay, calm down, Jamal. Nobody cares about how fast your bike is in a straightaway, okay? Stop lying. Your 600 does not do 180 miles an hour. Nobody cares about your 01 Hayabusa. It's still freaking slow and heavy and ugly, okay? Stop. It's not fast. Nobody cares about what you do in a straight line going, ah, broom, broom, I'm a jigster, broom, 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 broom. Nobody cares, okay? Nobody does. Much you to twisty, and y'all suck. 90% of you, you suck. Jixer is literally the first starter bike because that's what high school kids think is cool because the only bike that they really know is hashtag Jixer. I want a Jixer. I'll be cool on a Jixer. Go to ring ring. But at the end of the day, 90% of you are tools. Only some of you can actually ride. You hit a twisty and you immediately freak out. You're like, oh no, I gotta slow down. It's curved. And then, and then it opens back up to a straightaway and you're like, ring, ding, 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 we go. No, stop. And that is why everybody continues to make fun of you. Because not only is your bikes unreliable, but literally you guys are so easily slumped together into one stereotype because you're all the same. Half of you don't wear gear. And even the ones that do, you still see a tiny little curve like this and you're like, oh God, break, 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 break. It's hilarious. And I'm sorry if this hashtag triggers anybody that rides a Jixer that, um, you know, uh, subscribes to me. But, yeah, you know, I'm just, I still love you all at the end of the day. Like, a lot of my friends ride Jixers. They're used to all my crap talking by now because, you know, it's, it's what I do. But, like, I don't mean any harm by it. I just pick fun, okay? Some of us have more taste in motorcycles and riding ability than others, okay? That's fine. I still like you all as people. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. But, like, real talk, like, basically where this is coming from is TikTok. So if I post a video just picking fun at a Jixer, literally all these hashtag Jixer Nation boys who literally all look the same, mind you, and all act the same, mind you, just try to race. Like, see, look at this Jixer guy right now. And it's just, I think it's funny. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not butthurt about it at all. I just wanted to talk about it because it's freaking hilarious and I needed something to talk about. But they're so quick to work their thumbs and then want to race. Like, no actually real motorcycle rider cares about going fast you know what i'm saying in a straight line i mean yeah it's fun adrenaline lush woo. but at the end of the day there's nothing like slam it to a freaking corner like i'm not gonna lie when i had my r1 i bought it with mostly thinking of my ego because you know i was younger i wanted the baddest freaking bike in the group and then when I got the R1, I realized how much fun curves actually were, which is why I didn't care to downgrade because that bike, the way that I rode 90% of the time was totally going to get me killed one of these days on a back road. I, I just knew it. Plus my back hurts. It's pretty food barred now. So getting a bike like this where I stand up, stand up, I don't stand up. I sit straight up and down. It's functional. It's fun. You still hit corners with it. Like it's an awesome freaking bike. So for me, this bike works. But then you have like people, why would you downgrade? Well, listen, I technically, I guess I did downgrade. I got a cheaper motorcycle, but it's still a fun motorcycle that, you know, if you have at least somewhat skill, you can still have a crap ton of fun on it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, I'm not the best rider. I'm not, I would love to like actually go to a track day and figure stuff actually out. I've, I haven't ever had anybody to like, actually teach me how to take a corner i've just kind of learned it by you know clicking on random videos on youtube and then trying it and see what happens but i would love to go to a track day or something and actually have somebody take the time out of their day to help me go through the corner even faster because for me the corners is just what tickles my pickle you know i don't, I don't know it's something about when you're leaned off the bike and you're just Whee! 
Yeah, I don't know. That's what does it for me. That's like the, the R3. I rode it over the R1 a lot because it was such a fun bike. And one thing that I really hate about the motorcycle community is the fact that if somebody has a smaller CC bike or a smaller bike than them, then they immediately just make fun of them. Like, like why? We all have the exact same passion. And for all you know, the guy on the smaller CC bike can outride you on your uh, 1000 CC. Jixer Nation, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't pick on people because they have a smaller CC than you. Like, I chose my wife's R3 over my R1 to go to the Dragon a lot. Why? Because I was fast as shit up there on that R3. Like, people could not catch up to me on that bike. Like, that bike is so much fun. It's light. It's fast enough, especially when you're hitting all kinds of twisties back and forth like a road like that. I mean, you don't have to have the fastest bike on the planet. Get what you're comfortable with, work with it. If you eventually want to upgrade, then do it. If you don't, if you start out on too big of a bike and you want to downgrade, and that's what you're comfortable on, freaking do it. Don't let freaking Johnny on his Jixer be like, no, bro, a thousand CC, or bust, man. What are you doing on a 600? What are you doing on a 300? That's just not cool. Don't don't listen to Johnny. Johnny probably, uh, his kickstand probably leans his bike over farther than he does. Let's let's be honest here, okay? Johnny doesn't lean his bike over at all. He's your typical Jixer guy. Gets on it on the straightaways. Barely goes on the, you know, curves. Like, that's just how it goes. That's Johnny for you. I mean, it's not all Jixer riders. I know some Jixer riders that freaking can ride. Like, I can't keep up with some of them. It's not, it doesn't mean I'm not going to make fun of Jixer riders because... I love making fun of Jixxer riders. It's so fun. They get so hashtag triggered so freaking easy. But back to what I'm saying. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a Jixxer guy trying to tell you to upgrade. A freaking guy on a Kawasaki or a Yamaha or a freaking Ducati can tell you the same thing. Okay, It, does, it doesn't matter. Ride what you're comfortable with. And this is probably the best advice that I'll ever give you because it's true. I'm sorry that I got on that really long tangent, but I just, I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of people that watch me that's like younger or that's just getting started on like riding a motorcycle and so a bunch of people ask me like hey man what do you think the best beginner bike is i'm thinking about getting a 600 and that's fine and all but if you want to get a 300 get a 300 like don't get a 600 or don't get a 750 or a thousand because somebody told you to don't think that you have to get the biggest bike possible like it's just don't i mean <clears throat> I can tell you from experience because that's what I did. The first bike I ever rode was a ZX-10. That, that was stupid. I'll tell you right now, like that was dumb. But I gotta, do, I gotta get the, talk, Justin. Stop glitching, brain yeah, stroke. Okay, I just got a good deal on it. So it made sense for me to get that bike. Plus, like I, I don't know. I listened to too many people around me that said thousand or bust, and that was dumb. Now that I'm older. I can actually tell people the right thing for my mistakes, you know? So if you're gonna ask me what I think you should get for your first bike, if you wanna get a 600, do it. Absolutely, you know? As long as you're getting that bike because that's what you want, not because somebody's feeding your brain with, you have to have a faster bike, you're gonna grow out of a 300. Because I promise you, just because you get a 300, you won't grow out of it. I had a 2016 R1, and every time I knew I was gonna go on a super curvy road, and I wasn't riding with a bunch of ass hats, it was just trying to go fast, I chose the R3, 110% of the freaking time. Why? Because that bike was fun, it was fast enough, it was super light, I could do stuff on that bike that I wasn't comfortable enough to do on the R1, like hang way off the freaking bike and take corners way too fast because it just makes you feel comfortable. And that's what a lot of people don't understand because like there's this mentality that goes on where, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to clear my throat, where people just think that you have to have the fastest thing on the planet because their egos are huge and because their best friend that's, you know, still can't lean his bike over further than his kickstand said, oh man, you gotta have a, you gotta have a boosa, boosa boy. So don't listen to those people. I mean, I guess getting a 600 or bigger bike would make sense if you lived in a place like, oh my God, there's a bee in my helmet, holy crap. Not a bee, like a fly thing. Oh my gosh, I almost ran out of the road looking at it. Okay, sorry, I got it. Anyway, I guess if you were gonna start on a bigger bike, if you live in a state that doesn't have a lot of curvy roads, like absolutely, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Like for example, Florida, I love Florida. Like my wife wants to move to Florida, but I don't wanna move to Florida because there's just no curves. Like it's just nice to go, be able to go out on a back road like this and then just like a curve. Like you could just hit the freaking corner, you know what I'm saying? Like. You can't do that in Florida because there's... And that was a very sad excuse for a curve. I'm sorry, it looked bigger than it did before I got through it, but you know, whatever. But in Florida, there's really no curves. So it doesn't make sense to have a super small bike in Florida. If all we're gonna do is 
be riding straight lines all day. I could definitely see not wanting a 300 if you live in a state like that, because yes, you will get bored of it in probably, you know, one to three months. Like it's inevitable, it's gonna happen if all you're doing is a straightaway. But if you're on curvy roads, like I'm on right now, where you can, you know, you don't know when another curve's gonna come up and you wanna, yeah, and you wanna go into it. Smaller CC bikes are just as fun as big boy bikes, I promise. And I say big boy bikes as a joke. Like, as I said prior, I love the 300. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it fantastic fun freaking bike but yeah that's that's all i have to say about that i hope i answered literally everybody's questions about everything um i get a lot of questions on like tiktok and some on youtube um because i'm up to like 22,000 followers i think now on tiktok and so a lot of people ask me hey man what do you think is a good beginner bike so i'm just trying to answer that here in case you did subscribe to my youtube but yeah i just i just wanted to try to answer a question as a whole because like places like tiktok and stuff like that they really limit your characters on how much you can type and it's just really hard to tell somebody like hey this is what i believe like this is facts you know what i'm saying but this I, I don't know i would just rather talk about it than type about it but like if anybody ever has any questions about anything you know feel free to a oh, little big bump feel free to you know ask a question in my comments uh get on my instagram dm me on instagram you know add me on tiktok talk to me on tiktok like wherever that you want to reach out to me on I'll see it and I'll reply, you know what I'm saying? Like, feel free to ask me anything. Well, that's all I have to say about that. My phone's been blowing up. I'm gonna pull in here and make sure my friend's even left his house because if he hasn't left his house, I'm just gonna keep freaking riding. But he's actually probably already at my dad's house and my dad is currently not home yet, but I have a key to his house. And so, yeah, I'm just going there to use the tools. Let's just call him really quick. That is a really loud ringer, holy cow. Oh, my eardrums. Hey, yo, what's up? Where you at? Are you on your way? Yeah, I'm on that back road that goes straight to the Alrighty, so I just called him and he is on the way and he is almost there, so that's freaking Gucci. That means that I'll go ahead and continue to head that way and we should get there somewhat close to the same time. Uh, I gotta turn off traction control because who's got time for that? Okay, there we go. Bada bit. Whoa, whoa, it didn't go off yet. That was an ABS slide. Haha, <laughs> joke's on me. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and boom, there we go. Now we're good to go. So they showed pictures of all the 2021 models of the MTs and I've got to say, I love the bike minus the freaking headlight. I am 100% satisfied that I got the 2020 model when I did because if I got the 2021 model, I mean, yes, I understand the dash is prettier. Uh, the tank looks more aggressive. They did a great job on the tank and I understand that, you know, the suspension's a little better and stuff like that. And it makes like four more horsepower like whoopty freaking do but listen that headlight is enough to ruin it for me i'm sorry the price went up i'm not going to spend you know ten thousand dollars on a motorcycle for me to not like the what's supposed to be the most attractive spot of a motorcycle the the front end you know what i'm saying so i'm very happy with my 2020 model i like it better i don't know what you guys think so leave your thoughts in the comments if you looked up the 2021s but i I could say I could care less. I don't I don't like them. They they really don't do it for me. They ruined it with the headlight. Not to mention I'm pretty sure that the 07s are gonna look just like the 09s, which is dumb because that's why I stopped liking the new R1s because they look just like the R6s. And don't get me wrong, the new R1s look freaking great. But they look just like an R6. So it's kind of like uh, I don't know. I like being able to see the differences in all the different sizes of the motorcycles. So I, I love Yamaha, I'm a Yamaha fanboy, but I do not know what incarnation they are doing lately. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I will say, everything on the new 09 minus that stupid headlight looks great. I just, I can't get with it. I can't get with it. It just looks too much like, I don't know, like almost like a KTM-esque uh, Z900-ish. I don't know. Like, it looks like, I mean, you can kind of see, I mean, obviously you can see the roots from the, the MT-09s. And it's kind of like they're going back to the single headlight from the first gens, you know? Wow, mass cell? Are you freaking serious, Karen? Wow. Okay. I mean, I get it. They're going back to the single headlight thing because that's how they were to begin with. Which is cool and all, but I don't like that. Like, when they came out with these second gens, I loved them. I'm like, oh, that's, that's perfect, you know? But... I know they're going back to that, but at the same time, it's kind of like, ugh. I just, I just don't, I just don't like it. It's my personal opinion. It looks like they're, it, they kind of look like a Z900 now, the Kawasaki, which is okay. Z900s look good. I like a Z900, but I don't know. I just feel like they're getting, I, I don't know. I don't know how what I'm saying. I'm just rambling at this point, but I just, 
I'm just giving you guys my opinions. I don't personally like them. Will they grow on me? Maybe, eventually. I don't know though. <laughs> butthole pucker just a wee bit it kind of got the bike straight up and it scared me and i let off the gas and fell back down and i was like no so then i picked it back up and then it started veering to the right and i was like what do i do so i stood up and set it down okie dokie we are almost to my dad's and uh that means i can go ahead and start getting tools out and getting ready for the homie to show up and work on his car and then hopefully we'll be done before you know the freaking sun goes down because i'm not trying to be gone all day and just like that we are back it's probably you guys didn't even realize that i was doing anything because it was just so quick right i was like wham bam thank you ma'am uh so we fixed what was wrong with it but i don't think it was the culprit i think it has another problem so you know there's that and the funniest thing happened my friend he's you know he's a very smart guy but he's also pretty dumb and i say that in a nice way but so, you know, he got there and we immediately started working on it with the motor hot. And so this freaking dweeb just grabs a freaking heat shield with his bare hand. It was like, ow, oh my God, it's hot. Like, no, duh. What did you, what did you think was going to happen? Did you think, did you think it was just going to be lukewarm, cold? Like, freaking duh, big red truck there, you freaking dweeb. I'm taking him a back route and he's like following me and he's driving extremely slow. And I'm like, pitter patter, let's get at her. He was going to take another like 15 minute detour to get where he was going. And I'm like, bruh, listen, follow me. And then he said, I don't know if I can keep up. And I was like, I'll drive slow. Well there. Hi, Granny. I'm right here. How are you doing? Let's, let's, let's wait on the homie and make sure he comes this way. And I have to turn off traction control. So, you know, there's that. Because there's traction control. I forgot. Okay. He's, okay. He's coming. No, what are you going that way for? You freaking idiot. I literally stopped at everything and you freak what? What in tarnation? Oh my gosh. I bet he was texting. I bet he was texting. What a dweeb. <laughs> what in tarnation, bro? Oh wait, there he is. Okay, he turned around. Okay, he freaking made it. There we go. He he must have made a U-turn. I was I was about to call him and make sure that, you know, he managed to find a a turnaround spot because the road that he went down turned into a one lane road and you know how one lane roads are see guys don't don't distraction and drive if you're if you're on your phone you're not paying attention he's the perfect example and i was just talking about how smart he wasn't <laughs> now let's slow down to make sure he sees me make this right turn right here hey we're going this way okay we're going that way turn right here yep mm -hmm. oh he's gonna make it oh yeah he's freaking turning okay you know, I just had to make sure I hand gestured him the proper way. Because clearly he's more blind than I am, and I'm blind. I have to wear glasses all the time. If I take off my glasses, I'm super blind. Oh, wow, well, there's a wheel weight right here. Oh, yeah, that'll pop a nice tire. Yep, let's get that out of the way. We're going that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh, why is there so much traffic right here? Holy freaking bon Oh, my Lanta. Here comes another car when I can go this way. And this person's turning left. Like, geez Louise, I just want to go. <laughs> Wee. Oh, my Lanta. I can't wait to get home. I got freaking chicken. Freaking boneless chicken wings waiting for me at the house. Oh, and curly fries. Oh, my Lanta. I'm getting even more hungrier just talking about it. And they're so good, so good. They're a little bit spicy, a little bit tangy, a little bit sweet. Mm. Classic, bougie, ratchet. I hate this stupid song, but it comes on freaking Pandora. Then I sing it. It's in my head now. Oh my, wish I could skip it, but I can get my phone out my freaking pocket. Say dang it. Oh my gosh, Justin, delete that out. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my freaking life. Oh my Atlanta. Sometimes I wonder about myself. Like, I just want to ask myself, are you really okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just having fun. If you guys heard a lot of the stuff that I edit out, you would probably sit on the couch and cry as you watch this. Because I'm... I'm a little bit ridiculous sometimes. Cause you know, I, I don't really care if people make fun of me as long as, you know, I can at least make one person laugh. But then there's just some stuff I say that I'm like, you know, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. I'm not gonna put that in there. <laughs> but then other stuff I'm like, who really cares, you know? It's only online, it's only there forever. Like, 
Well, I no longer see Dalton behind me. Um, whatever, I guess. I I'm sure he hopefully knows where he is by now. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's 2020. I'm sure he has a GPS on his phone. Oh, look at the baby hamburger running. But my bike's not even loud. Oh, he's like, no, don't eat me. <laughs> okay, so, oh, don't back out. Just, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's go back to talking about how intelligent my best friend is okay so anyway i'm packing everything up you know putting all the tools and stuff back up and he goes wow my tire looks really low and i'm like hmm, let's check it here's the tire gauge i check it and he was like it should say about 35 it had seven freaking sorry my voice is cracked it had seven freaking pounds in this thing i'm like whoa there guy it's been low a very long time apparently oh my gosh i know i shouldn't laugh at my friend's expense but it's just hilarious we had a good laugh i made fun of him for a minute but you know it's whatever i make fun of myself enough to be able to justify to make fun of my friends so i mean i make fun of everybody and everything so like whatever he's used to it by now i've known him for like ever oh this is an optima s it says s on it does the s stand for super or does the s stand for slow it's gotta be no maybe it's sport no i think it's slow see what i'm saying i just make fun of everything i just i don't know conversation starters whatever you either love me or you hate me for it there's really no in the middles i mean i guess there is maybe just some of my friends and people that watch me just tolerate me because you know it's whatever well it looks like dalton found his road oh, i'm so good he caught up to me because of the red light so you know we just passed the road i get so nervous like when we're on a small road like this and then somebody's turning and they can't just like immediately turn and the sun's like right there and i'm just like please don't be distracted please be paying attention don't rear end me don't rear end me don't do it but we're good the person behind me is like honestly the one of the most respectful people i've ever seen follow a motorcycle like they're way away from me they even stopped and gave me plenty of space like i would love to just shake that guy or girl's hand and be like thank you which i'm sure they ride you know so they probably get the gist of it it's like usually you can tell who rides or who knows people that ride you know stuff like that just by their driving habits and styles and stuff like if i ever get behind a motorcycle i'll actually make sure that nobody can get between me and the motorcycle because i don't know if they watch for motorcycles like i do but then i leave plenty of space you know anywhere else like if we're on a road like this i'll leave plenty of space in case something happens but like when we come to a highway i'm like nah ain't nobody getting in front of me because you might rear in this guy i'm looking out for the guy i'm now his bodyguard and that's just how the cookie crumbles hey buddy i really hate this light it always takes forever but this was the only way back home that wasn't the interstate and i'd much rather sit at a red light than be on the interstate i freaking hate the interstate with a passion oh, 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 oh. let's go let's go let's go let's go Grimmies go Grimmies go Woo! honey for sale well freaking there your single ass goes there's honeys for sale back there Alrighty, guys i want to go ahead and end this video here i hope you all enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like comment subscribe and uh i'll see you all in the next one later